welcome back to Rebel Media. Today, we're continuing our trip through Tennessee and uh, coming to a place that I've been wanting to check out for a good long while. was one paragraph I read that said no government funding was used in the construction of this building nor will government funding be used in the operation of the museum. This means no politically correct politician or justice warrior can dictate what can be displayed in the museum or how it shall be interpreted. This museum is owned and operated by the Sons of Confederate Veterans and all exhibits will be created by the Sons of Confederate Veterans. So, I heard that and I just had to come here. There's Nathan Bedford Forrest's statue that they removed from Memphis. We'll get over there, but first things first, let's go to the museum. All right, guys, we are in the National Confederate Museum right here. Okay, this okay. obviously is Robert E. Lee. He's mm -hmm. a bronze statue. He was the mascot of Robert E. Lee High School in Montgomery, Alabama. Mm -hmm. And when all the nonsense has happened over the last two, three, four years, the kids, the students decided, you know, he had to go. So you'll uh. notice on his lapel, the lines are repaired bullet holes where he was shot up. They shot out his left eye. They tried to just destroy him. Unbelievable. And a good southern gentleman got him, um, found him, and had him repaired and brought him to us to be on loan. So they shot in his eye? That is insane. <sighs> And they just wanted him gone. Just wanted him gone. And um, and where was he in the school? Like uh, out front. Out front. As far as I, I don't know. It was a mascot. Oh my goodness. And, um, so sad. This gentleman had repaired. He wants, from what I understand, he wants to take him back to to uh, Lee County, Alabama and having like a little plaza or whatnot mm -hmm. there. Well, that's great that you guys have him here. Yeah. And there's the bed. <laughs> that's great. There he is. Ooh, look at that shotgun. Yeah. Mississippi Partisan Rangers, that's great. There's Forrest down there. Walking stick. Carved by a veteran, wow. Look at like that. Is this his actual death mask? Mm-hmm. Damn. And there's his chair. And I mean, the truth is on the timeline. Look at that. Yeah. A little mat revolver. This is actually a union belt. Okay. And it was handed to me, and I, I stood there, and I literally got emotional. I was like, dude, what have you been through? What? I don't care if it's yeah union or federal. Of course. Or I mean, it gives me chills right now. Just, just that thought that I held it. And look how tiny it is. Yeah. 
See, we're a little lamb. No, no burgers back no. then? <laughs> no. So. And some infields down here. Whose basket? Is that? There's two that, fours. That's his first one? The one they dug up in Memphis? And that's the remains of his wife. From what I understand, he was somewhat still attached or together. He was involved with arson. Hmm. So he was still kind of complete? Kind of, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I know that's what I'm told. Yeah. But she was pretty much dust and ashes because by the time she passed away, the arsenic had been out. Mm -hmm. so, and what were these two down here? Now, when they had, were in turn, um, legally they had to be put in modern caskets. And that's replicas of the caskets that are out front down the street. Yeah, I, I'm going to go visit the general after here, but I didn't want to miss my chance to look through the museum. And what have we got in here? They created a non-profit oh, the casket shield. Yeah. Went in there in the middle of the night and moved the statue. Right, what a, in what violation a wonderful thing you guys have done. Thank you. I'm so glad I came. So this video or the walls here tell a story. And I'm not gonna have time to read the whole story, obviously. I wonder if they have it on uh, online somewhere where I could read it. And this tells the whole story of America down here. Uh, 1812. There's a bust of John Calhoun. They're really into the Roman <laughs> type deal. Here's Jefferson Davis right here. Down here, we got some money. This is from the Stonewall Brigade. Confederate Navy. Here's the Alabama. Ooh, and the iron pads. Fredericksburg, North Carolina, Huntley, Savannah. Virginia, Wilmington, Mississippi, Jackson, Texas, Virginia too. I didn't even know about all these. Chance to come to this museum. You really gotta come check it out and give yourself more time than I had planned on. They close pretty soon, so fortunately I'm trying to be fairly quick about this, but still give you guys an idea of what they have here. I tried to go to Sabine Pass once and it was closed. I drove all the way down there and I couldn't get in. This is on my list though. They kicked some serious butt there. Johnson, Texas Cavalry, the Dog River Sword, the French Model 
sticks and other housekeeping like a junior musician. Can you hear me in the hall? Oh man. Lee and Jackson stamps. Those aren't allowed anymore. $10 note. Plantation dinner bill. Some cop patches. Mm, that's not allowed anymore either. General Howell. Sports Illustrated, Comic Blog. Wow. There's the Stonewall Jackson uniform. One in Gardens in Journalist. That's cool. This is the flag of Lafayette's artillery. I don't know if you guys know the story about Sam Davis, but it's a good one. Sam Davis is called the boy hero of the Confederacy. He was executed by the Yankees for espionage during the American Civil War. After being grilled for hours and threatened with the sentence of death, he said, I would rather die a thousand deaths than betray a friend. And with that, he was sentenced to hang the next day. Sam wrote a letter to his mother before the execution. Dear mother, oh how painful it is to write to you. I have got to die tomorrow, to be hanged by the Federals. Mother, do not grieve for me. I must bid you goodbye forevermore. Mother, I do not fear to die. Give my love to all. And there was a postscript for his father, too. Father, you can send after my remains if you want to, they say. They will be at Pulaski, Tennessee. I will leave some things with the hotel keeper for you. He was hanged by Union forces in Pulaski, Tennessee on November 27, 1863.
can't see that these were Stonewall Jacksons in the Mexican-American War. Some real amazing stuff in there, guys. Here's Jefferson Davis. Coming up on the family cemetery here. Talked about it on the tour inside the house, but here's a little closer view. I didn't know it at the time, but here I am staring at Mr. Cummings' grave, who was a crew member on the CSS Alabama, with a very interesting story. While Captain Raphael Sims was having the ship repaired in Cape Town, Africa, the men went out on a hunting mission, small parties of men and officers that would go on shore to hunt birds and small game. Well, when returning from that hunting mission, as he was getting into the boat to head back to the Alabama, he grabbed his gun by the muzzle, pulled it toward himself, and the hammer got caught, and it shot him directly through the chest at point-blank range. Apparently, he looked at his men and said, Oh, me! And then he died, and he was buried in Africa. And for 131 years, Mr. Cummings was the only... Confederate servicemen to be killed and buried outside of the United States. That was until 1994 when his remains were disinterred and brought to America. Right here at beautiful Elm Springs. As I'm sure many of you are aware, Nathan Bedford Forrest and his wife were buried at the foot of his monument which was in Memphis, Tennessee. It was put there in 1901. In 2017, the statue was removed. After years of court battles and controversy, Nathan Bedford Forrest and his wife were moved here to Elm Springs. The good news is, is that Forrest's statue can still be seen today at the museum, intact, preserved, and safe. The people at the museum told me they're working on raising enough money to put him back up on a pedestal and over with his remains and his wife's remains. But for now, this is where he stands. Well guys, it's been a busy day. 
lot of touring. Um, but learned a lot, saw a lot. And if you're into learning more and seeing more about Southern culture and Southern uh, heritage and their side of the war, it's hard to beat this place right here. Well, until next time, guys. See you later.